Hi right, guys. Um, this is uh, it's probably not going to interest uh, you lot that are following that are following my knives and and slingshots. Um, but I've kind of been rebitten by the um, airsoft bug and a friend of mine, Mike, uh, some kind of photography, I believe, I'll put a link in the description, did a trade with him recently and got myself a WEPDW. Uh, the bold, the stock bold, uh, the spring was a bit biffed um, and it was proven quite hard to just get a spring so I upgraded to the RA Tech version 3 um, and while fitting it I've come across quite a few problems had to make a few modifications which I will show you right so the first thing first problem that I came across was the uh, bolt release catch uh, was pressing tight up against the side of the bolt there's actually quite a quite a large difference between the mouldings on the two um, so what I've had to do is I've had to grind down the mag release catch um, it still works I'm going to just add a little bit of extra material on the bottom there because um, it's not quite catching a hundred percent but it is still working also the um, the selector the selector rod I'm not quite sure what its exact name is was also catching on the bolt uh, in this area here quite substantially as well which was causing it to do all kinds of crazy shit so I've basically taken a tiny section of that that off there and it does seem to be cycling normally now not really tested it because it was a bit late and a bit dark last night and my other half she doesn't really like the noise of the guns um, what I have noticed is, is the, the only two mags that I've got at the minute one is a version 1 and it's shit and leaks um, the other one is the stock PDW one which there is definitely a difference um, in the power so there's obviously a difference between the valves So that seems to be running fine like I say the only issue that I've got is the bolt catch is not catching a hundred percent that's an easy modification which I'll do but as far as it's cycling I mean you couldn't even close the receiver and now Obviously it works, but yeah, um, I'm going to be doing quite a lot of work to this. I'm going to put a tight ball barrel in it. I've got a bit more internal modifications to do. Um, I'm going to be putting a steel trigger set in it. Um, just deck it out a bit, really. Um, I actually have an indoor airsoft site nearby. Uh, which is why I put the end pass kit in it as well so I can drop the power levels down um, I'm also gonna start making uh, pimped scales for sidearms I'm just waiting for them all to arrive but yeah I might upload another vid and um, we'll put some ammo through it and see how it shoots with a new pop-up unit in as well but yeah Part one. <laughs>
RA Tech PDW project. And also, I want to just um, say thank you to uh, Maximus MJG. I'll I'll put uh, a link to her, to his channel in the description as well. Uh, very friendly, very helpful, and. If you like gas blowback rifles, I mean, I've got a ton of AGs upstairs, uh, but I'm only learning with these, and he's helped me out a shitload. Doesn't know why I'm still quite happy to help, and has a load of informative videos on his channel as well. But yeah, Let's see what we can do with this.